Hey there, crush enthusiasts. Ever worried about making the wrong moves? Stick around as we unveil the secrets to winning your crush without stumbling. An intriguing paradox in the world of romance is that trying too hard can be, well, trying too hard. It's like attempting to hold sand. The tighter you squeeze, the more it slips through your fingers. Subtlety is your friend here. Think of it as a delicate dance where you need to match your partner's steps. Allow them to initiate, respond in kind, but don't overstep. There's a fine line between showing interest and being overly eager. Crossing that line can leave an impression of desperation, and that's a big no-no. It's all about maintaining a balanced dynamic, a give and take that allows a natural connection to form. Overstepping this balance can disrupt the harmony and turn your crush away. Trust us, you don't want to miss this. Next up, don't follow the herd. Avoid putting your crush on a pedestal. It's a common mistake to idolize the person you're interested in, to see them as flawless, as a deity of sorts. But guess what? They're human too, with their own quirks, flaws, and unique traits. By idealizing them, you're setting yourself up for disappointment when they don't match up to those lofty expectations. Instead, view them as a regular person. Engage with them on a human level, not as a starstruck fan. Show interest in their interests, laugh at their jokes, and most importantly, let them see the real you. Treat them as you would a good friend. This fosters a genuine connection, a sense of comfort and familiarity that could potentially blossom into something more. Remember, no one likes being an object of constant admiration. Genuine connections are built on equality. Avoid the classic mistake of revealing your feelings too fast. Now, we're not saying you should keep your feelings bottled up forever, but premature confessions can often lead to confusion or even discomfort. It's like serving a cake before it's fully baked. It's just not ready. Imagine this, you're building a puzzle. You don't just throw all the pieces out there at once, right? You start with the edges, then gradually fill in the middle. It's the same with relationships. Allow them to develop organically, bit by bit, revealing more about your feelings as you get to know each other better. Rushing into expressing deep emotions can overwhelm the other person, making them feel pressured to reciprocate, even if they're still figuring out their own feelings. Patience is key. Let the connection between you grow naturally. Rushing might lead to misunderstandings or worse, becoming a backup plan. So take your time, folks. Let your feelings bake to perfection before you serve them. Sending multiple texts. Hold your horses. Now we've all been there, right? You're smitten and can't wait to hear back from your crush. But before you know it, you've sent a flurry of messages. And suddenly, you're the one doing all the talking. In the world of romance, this could be a fatal error. Bombarding someone with messages can come off as, well, desperate. And desperation, my friends, is a surefire way to kill the spark. It strips away the intrigue, the mystery and the anticipation that make the early stages of attraction so exciting. So here's a tip. Keep your cool. Let them respond at their own pace. Don't rush or pressure them into responding. After all, everyone has their own life and their own pace. Remember, when it comes to communication, less is often more. Keep it cool. Let them respond at their pace and maintain the mystery. Less is more. Honoring your self-worth is vital. As we navigate the world of crushes, it's easy to get carried away by our emotions. But remember, respecting boundaries is just as important as expressing our feelings. When your crush sets a boundary, it's crucial to respect it. This could be anything from wanting to stay friends to needing more space. It's not a rejection of you, but a reflection of their comfort level. Moreover, knowing when to step back is a sign of maturity. Trying to force a romantic relationship where it's not welcomed can lead to a toxic dynamic. Instead, acknowledge their wishes and give them space. Remember, your self-worth is not tied to whether or not your crush reciprocates your feelings. You are valuable regardless. Don't let unrequited feelings make you question your worth. In the end, maintaining a healthy dynamic with your crush is about respect, understanding and self-love. Know when to step back for your well-being. Thanks for watching. Until next time. That's all for today, crush enthusiasts. We have covered a lot of ground. From understanding the paradox of trying too hard, to the importance of not putting your crush on a pedestal. We've talked about the dangers of revealing your feelings too fast, the pitfalls of desperation, and the importance of respecting boundaries. Remember, these are not just tips, but lessons for nurturing healthy relationships. If you found these insights helpful, don't hesitate to share this video with your friends who might need these tips. 
And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Glee Glow Junction channel for more content like this. In closing, always remember that love is a journey, not a destination. So keep learning, keep growing, and keep crushing. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Until next time, this is Glee Glow Junction, signing off.